Welcome to my channel! Learn with Teacher Ellie! Mathematics, Grade 5, Quarter 3, Week 5, Day 1 Now, let's have a multiplication quiz B. Now, try to answer the two problems below. Our topic for today is about multiplying decimal numbers. Here are the steps on how to multiply decimal numbers. Step 1, to multiply decimals, multiply the numbers the way we multiply whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. Step 2, then add the partial products. Step 3, count the number of decimal places in the factors. In our sample word problem, notice that there is only one decimal place in the factor. That is why we also count one decimal place from the right of the product and we put the decimal point. Thus, the answer to the problem above is 270 pesos. Let's multiply 7.2 times 1.3. So, the step 1, rewrite the decimal numbers into whole numbers. Step 2 is to multiply the whole numbers. Step 3, count the number of decimal digits in the original equation. Step 4, move the decimal point of the product from right to left based on the number of decimal digits in the original equation. Now, let's do this. For activity number 1, find the product. Show also your solution. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Day 2 Students, solve for the following to find the product. Show your solution on the board. What made the child cry? Arrange the product in ascending order to complete the sentence. Our topic for today is about multiplying decimal numbers. Here are the steps on how to multiply decimal numbers. Step 1, to multiply decimals, multiply the numbers the way we multiply whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. Step 2, then add the partial products. Step 2, 
Step 3, count the number of decimal places in the factors. In our sample word problem, notice that there is only one decimal place in the factor. That is why, we also count one decimal place from the right of the product and we put the decimal point. Thus, the answer to the problem above is 270 pesos. Let's multiply 7.2 times 1.3. The step 1 is we need to rewrite the decimal numbers into whole numbers. Step 2, multiply the whole numbers. Step 3, count the number of decimal digits in the original equation. Step 4, move the decimal point of the product from right to left based on the number of decimal digits in the original equation. Now for your activity number 2, find the product and then show your solution. Put a check on the number which is equal to the product of each item. Day 3 Solve for the following to find the product. Show your solution on the board. Examine the two images, which is countable and which is not. Our topic is to estimate product of decimal numbers. In estimating products of decimals, round each decimal to the nearest whole number before multiplying. Let us discuss the situation given and carefully study how it is done. Estimate the product of 14.8 times 6.3. Number 1. Round off each decimal to the nearest whole number before multiplying. The 14.8, when you round it off to the nearest whole number, it will become 15. And 6.3, when rounded off to the nearest whole number, it will become 6. Then multiply the two estimated numbers, 15 and 6, to get the product of 90. Complete the table by rounding off the factors and giving the estimated products. Number 1 is done as your guide. Let us do the game below. Identify the correct estimated product. Day 4 Compute the actual and estimated product and circle your final answer. Round off the following decimal numbers into the whole number. Let us tackle on how to estimate product of decimal numbers. In estimating the product of a decimal number, round them to a particular place value. The smaller the place value to which you round the numbers, the more accurate the estimate will be to the actual answer. To further understand the concept, study the example below. 
For our example number 1, we need to round off the nearest ones place. 24.86 is equal to 25 and then 30.45 is equal to 30. So 25 times 30 is equal to 750 which is the estimated product. For our example number 2, round off the nearest tens place. So 2.3, it will become 2.5. And then 1.34, it will become 1.3. So 2.5 times 1.3 is equal to 3.38, which is the estimated product. To multiply decimals and decimal to whole numbers, multiply them as whole numbers then count the decimal places on both factors to determine the decimal places in the product. Study the examples to further understand the concept. Estimate each product by using rounded factors. Decide whether your estimation is an overestimate or an underestimate. Estimate the product. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided for. Thank you for watching! Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest videos. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!